Welcome back to Nikki's Scrapbooking Adventures. So there have been a little bit of chatter about how to use extremely themed products to tell your story. When you don't necessarily go to SeaWorld or to Pirate Land or go to the sea or, you know, ocean, all that beachy kind of stuff. So today I thought I would review the three collections that I think I'm going to pull from in order to document this random pictures that I have of my son. So I'm first going to go through the collections that I have in front of you, and then I'm going to talk about why I'm choosing these photos for these collections. So the first collection I have here is Catch of the Day by Graphic 45. So you get some templates here on the back. Then you also get, this is more like cardboard, I would say. Okay. Then within the collection, you get the papers and then this sticker sheet. So I have a little bit of extra stuff. So here are the stickers for this collection. I also have the journaling spots, journaling cards, four by six and three by four cards. And then I also have some chipboard. I've already cut up a couple of the pages because I knew I would either use them as borders or as ephemera. So here are my papers that are in this collection. Just going to go kind of quickly through it. Show you the front and the back. Ooh, look at this beautiful wood grain. Isn't that pretty? Okay, and that's the first page. You already saw that. Isn't that fun? Seize the day. And then look at that flat on the back. And I love this. Love this. And then the back here. Isn't that fun? And then some anchors. And then some compass. Oh, sorry. Anchors have cut apart, so I cut that apart. And then these are the front and back. And then you got some fish and the border strips, which I already cut down. And then some postcards in the back has some red crabs. And then we're back to the bit first page with that beautiful wood grain. So a couple of things that I noticed when going through this collection is that postcards are a major theme. So you could do a layout about sending a postcard to your friend. That would be a great layout for this because you don't need a picture. You can just put your journaling right here, a couple of embellishments. You don't even need embellishments just to get your story recorded. You can also do um, maybe your favorite restaurant. Maybe that's the lobster place. I can't think of what it's called right now, but the lobster place, seafood place. You can do sailing, if you have any sailing things. Just try to kind of give you an idea. Maybe you went fishing one time. Maybe you went to a lighthouse. Kind of ideas that you can use. And this is definitely not... Like, even though it looks like a net, that can be also um, fencing. You don't necessarily have to use this for Seize the Day. Okay. So that is what I have for that collection. Next collection is brand new to me because I'm going to have to actually open it. And it's not already in. It's fancy plastic that I switch it to. This is a little kid line. At least I think this is because it's kind of cartoony, right? I have not looked at this besides the front part. So we'll just kind of go through. It looks like there's 12 double-sided papers. 
in a 12 by 12 element sheet. So that's the 12 by 12 stickers. I think that's cute. Okay. Four by six journaling cards. Love these cute animals. Blue bubbles can go with anything. Four by six and then got some coral. Got these little animals and seashells on a black background. This orange needs to just stay in my space in general because I don't have very many orange patterns. Oh, that's cute. Look at those crabs. That's fun. Okay. And then some fishies. The B sides of this, even if you don't, um, you're not necessarily looking for themed items are very, very usable. Look at those submarines. That's fun. And then it looks almost like a black background with blue splashes. That's a great story-based page. You put your picture right here, your title in that light blue area, and you're done. Oh, back page, little fishies in blue. I love those octopus. That's fun. Oh, and look at Finding Nemo, the clownfish. Oh, that's a cute, cute paper. I like this paper pack. So let's look at those things that aren't necessarily themed. So this one, you can't really tell what the pattern is. You've got a good stripe. That's pretty themed. you got a yellow stripe, a green zigzag, an orange polka dot. That's themed. Light blue polka dot, and then a dark blue stripe. So you can get this collection pack and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the 12 pages are not themed. So you don't necessarily have to do that. Okay. And the final collection is something that I did that was DIY. So I keep embellishments that I think go along with collections and papers all in these 13 by 13 bags from clearbags.com. Very quality, you get 100 in a pack and they last me forever. So I got this sticker, layer sticker from Dollar Tree. So, and it's dealing with pirates. That is the theme of this collection. And then I also got all of these wood veneer from the Dollar Tree as well. Look at how cute these are. I love this octopus. I don't know, I'm obsessed with octopus. It's really weird. It's been since like elementary school that I've been obsessed with them. So we're just going to go with it. Okay. So I have a couple of papers in here that are from the collection that's shown in these cut apart sheets. But I based my collection on this cut apart sheet and, and the colors. And the theme of pirates. So that's the back. So I'm just going to put this here so you can kind of see the colors. That's just a single-sided piece of paper I pulled from my stash. We got the yellow, blue, and green. We got some of that mint green. Looks kind of like a map, but it's Vicky Booten with a bees on the back. But I'm looking at this side. I think this is either from this collection or something similar. Yeah, I think it's from this collection because that red matches really well. And then this is just a scrap I pulled in and another scrap and then some compasses because when you're out in sea you need some compasses but this is from a outdoor line this is from a baby line and I think the dark blue the teals they all match you got a good red that's from a paper pad, a Christmas paper pad. I have no idea where this is from. <laughs> this is from a paper pad as well. I could use the brown here too. That's kind of the same color brown. It's a little bit lighter. And then I thought this is perfect. Because you've got bags and stuff on pirate ships. And then I actually have a pirate themed paper here. Single sided brown with the teal numbers and this yellow this is from this collection you can see that pattern here in this four by three cut apart card look at how pretty that is i like that paper 
And then this is from the, the same collection as well. And look at this story base page. I am tempted to use this one. So let's talk, go back and talk about my photo. Okay. So I'm going to bring it up here. So I don't know about you, but when I am playing on a, well, when I used to, I'm too big now, used to play on swing sets or wood and all that kind of stuff, I would always imagine myself as the captain of a pirate ship. So I think my title for this is going to be, aye, aye, captain, just for fun. Or I could do work like a captain, play like a pirate. Are you are my greatest treasure. Isn't that fun? So I'm thinking that I could potentially combine all three of these collections because they have to deal with the sea. And I am picturing in my mind my son being the captain of his playset. Like, add a little captain's hat here. I wonder if I've got a sticker. Oh, I don't have a sticker. I could probably make one, though. Put a little hat there. I just think it's fun that I'm thinking of him as the captain of his playground. I'm going to go pick a sketch to figure out what papers I'm going to use. And I will be back. So here are my two photos. And this is the sketch that I had chosen from January 2021 from Page Maps by Becky Moore. And I know this is an eight and a half by 11 vertical sketch. However, I like the placement of those photos. So I'm going to just kind of rotate my sketch or flip it. And I'm going to have this picture looking down at this picture, this picture looking up at that picture. So that's how that is going to be. And I just noticed my son's outfit is perfect for this because it's got little sea creatures on it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I pulled from a couple different collections. Really just my handmade collection because I've got this background paper here. Uh, so I've got this background paper here. I'm going to place my photos like this. Now, I need a couple mats according to my sketch. So I took one of my scraps that I had in my thing. And I cut one side down. And I'm going to place that under the top photo. So I'm going to put... This is the mat for this photo. And I flipped it over and I was like, oh yeah, I forgot about this side. So that is going to be my other mat. Then I'm going to put it in here so that you can kind of read like scurvy pirate, army hardy, those kinds of fun things. And then I am going to just tilt them just so slightly. Now, notice in my sketch that there is a banner going across here. So, from the Seize the Day collection, I found this cute little banner. And it says, You, Me, and the Sea. Which is super cute. And then, there's a couple extra border pieces. This red is different than this maroon. So, I want to make sure that I surround this with a different color. So, I chose the dark blue. So this is how I'd probably glue it. I would put my mats down first, line up everything so it looks nice. That word, those lines. And then I've got kind of like a rope deal here and some waves. So I've surrounded my red so that it's not as contrasting on my maroon. This is gonna go here. So you can see that anchor. And this is gonna go here. 
so that I have kind of an even border around my photo. I haven't quite decided on embellishments yet, but I know that I'm going to use this hat on this one right here. I think that's too cute. He looks like a pirate now because he's got a pirate hat. My title is going to be I, I, I Captain because I just have to. And uh, right now it looks kind of busy because I don't have a frame. So I decided to frame my layout in this red. And look what that does. Because I don't have this really light blue anywhere else, it makes my photos pop. And that is why I use frames. So that my photos pop. Out. What I want to do, I put my captain's hat on foam tape. And I'm going to have two clusters, a cluster down here and a cluster up here. I'm going to be using one of the journaling cards and it's got a little ship on it and I die cut these letters to say aye aye captain let's go on an adventure. So that is going to be my title and cluster base here. And then I have this little monkey dude and he is going to be my pirate telling the captain it's time to go on an adventure. And I got a little dolphin here. Just because, why not? We're talking about pirates and the sea and all that fun stuff. So I thought I would just add that little bit. Because I've got all of these. I might as well use them, right? My second cluster is going to go right up here. And I've got a little sticker here that's a circle. And it says, an adventure awaits. And that is from the Catch of the Day collection. And then I've got a little shark dude that says pirates with a pirate thing. And then I also have another wood veneer dolphin this time. And that's going to wrap around just like that. And that, my friends, is my super simple but really cute page using a very heavily themed collection to talk about everyday life. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I will not be having journaling on this. It's pretty self-explanatory and I'll probably put the date somewhere. Probably like right here, right here. Just stamp it on there. Not a big deal. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed this video about using heavily themed collection to talk about everyday life. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.